Well, Reese was 15, very healthy, appeared very healthy. Um, Mr. Popular in his school, you know, just perfect son, really. He was a great um, person within his school with lots of friends on the school football team and everything like that. We didn't think there was any problem at all. And um, one day he was playing football for Charlie Stennis football team and he literally just collapsed and died on the pitch. It was a real shock. Um, it's 15, nobody expected that. So it really had an effect in all the, um, the his school, the schools he was playing for, the schools he was playing you know, with as well. It really had a sort of a ripple effect. So we thought that putting, giving something back and making everybody realise that there is something you can do you don't have to just wait for a paramedics, you know, there's something that you can try and do. Uh, on the day, I think people were just so shocked, you know, but CPR wouldn't have saved Reese. It's not what he, he died of. But however, it could save other lives. And that's where we got passionate about it, really, that we wanted to explain that there's different types of ways of helping rather than just standing there watching. You can do something. You are the emergency service yourself, you know, and what you do in the immediate seconds after could really help. The fact is that 12 young people a week in the UK die of um, a heart-related condition that's undiagnosed. We realised that there needs to be a bit more, of, more education with school children, especially at year 9 and 10. So we've got no formal arrangement across the region of where we work with schools. In September last year, we decided to formalise a project called the Reese Jeffries Gift of Life Project. So we wrote to the head teachers of 112 schools to say, can we come to your school, teach, teach your children about basic life support, AED, resuscitation, defibrillation, and what to do in an emergency such as a cardiac arrest. Um, yeah, the students we actually visit are roughly the same age as Reese. Uh, and that's good because they identify then with Reese's story and they've got friends and relations very similar to his age. Um, for me personally and I'm sure for others, the most important people are first on scene and that is the students. During the workshops then we, we have the, the obvious CPR uh, and defibrillator one but we feel there's more to it than that. Saving lives isn't just CPR it's actually the correct use of the medical services and the ambulance service which allows ambulances and the medical services to be able to deal with the life-threatening emergencies. But to really save a life might be spotting cardiac signs and symptoms and stopping them from becoming cardiac arrest. We had a young lad whose cousin uh, had chest pains. He had them playing football but he also had them when he wasn't playing football and he was a little bit worried about him, a bit concerned that he shouldn't have chest pains. So he actually told someone about it he got referred to a doctor, then the GP found uh, after consultation then he had an undiagnosed cardiac condition and now he's got a pacemaker fitted. So as far as I was concerned and I did make it known to the whole class that he actually was a lifesaver. So we're here because it's so important for young people, 14, 15 year olds in particular, to know how to save somebody's life, to do early defibrillation, use a defibrillator, to do CPR. Um, and resuscitation because that will help save more lives. 12 people a week die of this condition in the UK um, every week so it's just too much so that's why it's so important that we do this work with young people in schools. I think saving a life would be, is very important because it, I'd be proud of myself for saving the person and I think the person would be proud of me because I've saved their life. Uh, I do think that CPR is very important to learn because it's very useful and it can save a life. I feel like that if I saw someone that collapsed, I could probably give it a go and try and save them, and it helps people as well because you know you'd want it yourself. It's been brilliant, and um, I, I'm a lot more confident now and now um, how we can do CPR. So. We need to educate the children and know how to perform CPR. It may not have saved Reese's life, but it would definitely save other children's lives. It's a great service that we offer, it's a great thing that we're doing. It's all volunteered by very passionate and experienced people. So the more people we get involved and the more schools, councils that we get signed up, the more lives we're going to save. It's quite simple.